There is confirmation that World of Warcraft is going to a darker place in the World Soul saga, especially thanks to the Midnight expansion, who's supposedly going to be based around Quel'Thalas and change a few things here and there. Now hear me out, Warcraft can never go dark. I appreciate the idea of trying to make Warcraft dark, to go back to its roots, but there's one huge glaring problem. It doesn't work. And it's not because of Warcraft's fault. No, Warcraft can be a very dark setting. The problem is that the last time they tried to go anywhere dark, um, people didn't like it. <laughs> to put it bluntly, when they tried to go back to the roots of Warcraft with Battle for Azeroth, people didn't like it. They didn't like certain things happening. They didn't like other things happening. And because of racial sensitivities, they say, because... The Torin are Romanians and nobody wants to see Romanians killing Romanians. Though I guess if they're from Chicago, that's a different feeling. That aside, the problem is people will never accept a Dark Warcraft because Dark, because dark themes and evil is not something that they can grasp. Look at this. There was this whole quest during Dragonflight, the beta, where this random mage just had you kill gnolls after gnolls after gnolls, yeah? The text was something like, I oh, will try again, we'll try again, we'll try again, I'll go to Dauron and see what I can do. It wasn't really that big and it's just normal no killing. Duh, it's basic gameplay. What happened was that a bunch of people cried about it. Because why are we killing the gnolls? Why are we killing the gnolls? The gnolls are our friends. No, they're not. They're gnolls. They don't deserve anything better. But the marvelous devs at Blizzard decided to change it and somehow make the mage in the wrong for this. And you see, that's the problem. At the end of the day, you can't have dark themes or dark anything without people crying about it. Sure, everybody wants, oh, poor yellow boy Andrew, he needs to have PTSD, which, okay, granted, he was controlled and had to commit the unspeakable act of attacking a gigantic robot. I'm not really killing anybody else. Because there's technically no confirmation that he did anything bad besides trying to kill one of those stupid guys in uh, Shadowlands. You know what? In fact, on a scale of things, Troll has more things to apologize for. Troll has more reasons to have PTSD than Anduin. But that's a different story. Now Anduin is supposed to be our new Troll. With all that in mind, Anduin having PTSD is not going dark, no, that's character development. Warcraft going dark would be to go to the back to those roots that nobody ever wants to talk about, that nobody really likes, that n everybody finds now problematic, but once upon a time, it used to be the most amazing thing about Warcraft. But you don't want to go back. You see, people complained about a troll guard from Miss of Pandaria being uh, called a Kwashi. Because, oh no, it's a racial slur in for Jamaicans or something. And, of course, Blizzard devs, in all their magnanimous stupidity, decided, yeah, you know what, this name's been here for a while, and yeah, let's change it, let's change it. Let's uh, give in to the Twatter mob and uh, change this thing. And you see what I'm going with? You can't have anything in this world if you give up on principles. Blizzard devs are no longer principled anymore. They haven't really been since oh, so long ago. And because of that, they can't really hold to something. And you know what else also doesn't help with Warcraft being dark? Now, I like the PTR. The PTR is a pretty nice idea. It's a way of beta tasting the whole game and having to pay Q&A less because, duh, there's no point in having to pay your testers because the players are the beta testers at this point. Nevertheless, nevertheless, the PTR is a huge problem because when people will see that certain words are said by certain characters and they will see, oh no, uh, this is so bad because uh, the Thorin have all been <laughs> taken and put in the pen and they're being milked, everybody will go like, no, stop, dad, and you see that's the problem. The PTR shows stuff and then you kind of get screwed because you have to change it. Why? Because Blizzard devs are spineless. And that's the most important aspect of this. Spinelessness cannot create anything dark. It cannot create anything good as we've seen with Dragonflight and Shadowlands.
because they will always give in to those cries on Twitter because the same people that cry on Twitter share the same, I'll just call them illnesses, the same illnesses as the devs. And because of that, you can never have anything truly dark. These aspects are keeping Warcraft from being dark. Well, people are, oh, I can't wait to see how dark it is. Finally, Dark Warcraft. No, you don't know that. You hate it. You see Art of Orcs beheading a human and you cry. You know that there's this meme with the orc and Stormwind and everybody goes like, oh, that's just fan art for Hearthstone. It doesn't matter that it's fan art for Hearthstone. The feeling is the same. The point is the same. The orcs from current World of Warcraft are not the same as the orcs from normal Warcraft, from the RTS game, from the better part of Warcraft. You can't have the same things because the races are not the same. World of Warcraft now is just like a skinwalker that wears the skin of Warcraft and tries to pretend to be something good when we all know it's not. And it hasn't been good in so long that Venezuela used to be a proper country with a proper economy. That's how long it's been since the World of Warcraft has been good. And you see, it all ties up together. When you consider the most important aspect, Warcraft doesn't have fans. Warcraft has tourists. And tourists never care about a setting in its true way. They don't want it better. They don't like it for something. They want it to change it for something more. You see, that's the problem. Having tourists also leads to this degradation of something you like or once used to like. It all comes back in a circle. It only gets worse. And because Warcraft doesn't have fans, it has tourists. You get people like Talisian who go, oh, people just want to see tits. Which is the most dumb thing ever, but then again, it's coming from a dumb person. Who couldn't find his way out of a paper bag. But that's besides the point. True darkness can never be expressed in Warcraft. Because the fans of Warcraft are not fans or tourists. Everything related to Warcraft works against it to be dark. It can never be dark again. There is no hope of it being dark again because all of these elements, the PTR, the devs, the tourists, everything, it just spins around so perfectly and tells you clearly Warcraft will never be dark as much as it may try to be. Because the moment something bad happens, people will cry on Twitter. They cried when they had to kill Nose. Now, excuse me, that's kind of dumb. And changing the quick, uh, the quest uh, text because people cried about uh, killing Nose is even dumber. And that only tells us that Warcraft can't become dark. It can never be dark. Now, take it from someone that likes Warhammer. 40k in fantasy, of course. Berserk, Elric of Melnibone, Devilman. You have to understand, true darkness can be expressed in so many ways, in so many aspects. But at the end of the day, you need an audience that can tell the difference between reality and fiction. And that's a huge problem because many people, many Warcraft tourists, can tell that distinctive difference between what is real, like you and me, and what's fiction, like orcs and taurins and forsaken and humans in the game and dwarves and whatnot. This problem of not being able to distinguish one from the other creates mentalities that lead us to, oh, no, orcs are uh, racist because uh, they're caricatures of black people. No, orcs are inspired by Romanians. You can go whatever you want with that uh, cultural appropriation BS there. The truth of the matter is, this inability only leads to more bad decisions. Warcraft at its current state is lower in subs than it has ever been before. And no trying to make something dark will ever bring in more subs because at the end of the day, they can't do that anymore. They can't recreate Rat of the Lich King. It's just not possible anymore. Not only because the devs are not as cool as they used to be, but also because Warcraft doesn't have fans anymore, it has tourists, people that want to change it fundamentally to be another game. And honestly, in my opinion, the World Soul Saga either might end up being World of Warcraft 2 or uh, Realm Reborn, some BS like that from Final Fantasy. The idea is that they will fail making anything dark because at the end of the day, Blizzard works against itself when it comes to creating stuff. 
lack of fans also doesn't help. And that's it. Warcraft can be dark. It will never be dark. And it will never succeed in being dark. At most, it will just be like, oh, these are character development. That's so dark and edgy. Oh, Sylvanas was mind control. <laughs> no. No, oh, poor, uh, my poor uh, undead fe female dog uh, waifu. No. They will never be able to do it properly. And they'll never be able to do it in a way that makes sense. Let's just face it, it won't be dark. As much as people might cry and want it to be dark, it won't. It just can't. Nevertheless, I hope you enjoyed this rant and I'll see you in the next one.